Jorge Hernandez, a low blow in U.S. combat sports, here with the Atrisco kid, Fidel Maldonado Jr. It's glad to finally have you, man. Thanks. Yeah. So you got a big fight coming up here uh, next week. Um, you're fighting in Cancun, Mexico. So how do you feel about that? And the guy you're fighting actually has a decent record. Uh, Hermosillo Padilla is who you're fighting. Yeah, I feel good. The guy, I think he's only been stopped once, and it was by Pablo Cano. But uh, I'm ready. I've been training up in Santa Fe, up in the mountains up there. I'm ready. I'm um, um, you just coming off a win here in October, you won your first, I guess, title here uh, as a professional, the WBC Youth Lightweight title. Uh, yeah. How did that feel to defeat Eric Cruz? And, you know, that was in Mexico as well, so. Yeah, it, it felt good. Uh, it was hard because I had to lose 22 pounds in like a week and a half, <laughs> but it came out and won, so. How did that happen? I mean, was it just a late notice or? Well, no, I, I was in a fight, but that was a fight like at the catch weight. Mm. And then I was still walking around heavy. And then all of a sudden they just said, oh, you're going to fight for the title. So. And do you think that took away from you toward the later rounds in, in that fight? Or yeah, did like you feel good like, the whole fight? Nah, well, I, I, like my win and everything was good, but my body just felt dead. So, but early on, though, you even caught the guy and you, and you yeah. dropped him. Did you feel good at the beginning? Yeah, at the beginning I did. <laughs> and then just toward the end, it just tailed up. Yeah, just my body was dead. Well, I mean, now you say you've been training, that's higher elevation yeah. out there in the mountains and then even here. So do yeah. you think you'll be just be in top shape for this Yeah, I feel great. I've been sparring. I've been sparring Hector, Joaquin Zamora, uh, Brandon Holmes, uh, some dudes in my gym, so I'm ready. How's training with those guys? I mean, those guys are no joke. I mean, they've, they've had at least 20, 25 career fights. Uh, uh, combined, it's over 100 probably. Yeah, it's good. It's a lot of experience. It helps me out. What other gyms are you actually training at besides here? I mean, are there any other gyms around uh, town that are helping you out? Just mostly here and um, up at Tokyo's. I've been sparring with Hector over there. And how many rounds do you usually go with him? Is it just four? No, I went like, uh, the most I went with him was eight. But yeah, I was just working on, um, well, I already got my win and everything, so mm -hmm. just working on staying sharp. And how does that work with him teaching you? I mean, he is one of the older fighters now, I guess, in the fight game, if you yeah. think about it, out of Albuquerque. He puts a lot of pressure, helps me deal with that, and then while making mistakes, he ain't just in there trying to work me, he uh, helps me out, like, do this, do that, so. And, you know, this lightweight class that you're actually in, it's, it, it's pretty loaded. How much longer do you think you'll actually be in it? I'm not too sure. Like, now, though, I've been doing uh, Herbalife or whatever, yeah, mm. and I, I've been walking around at 140, so. Now, does that work, the Herbalife? Yeah. I've never tried it yeah. before. Because before I was walking around like at 155. Really? So, and ever since I've been taking that, I've been walking around at 40 for like the past three weeks. Mm -hmm. And how's the training with uh, your dad coming along? And oh, how's the weight also? I mean. Yeah, it's good. I'm already walking around 140, so. And I'm finally like at a catch weight of like 30 or something like that. So, I'll, so we, I'm, yeah. pretty, you're pretty much already good. I mean, yeah. if it's at 139, the catch weight, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. And <laughs> so you think you'll be the Albuquerque Herbalife sponsor? Yeah. Uh, no, hopefully, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> So, I mean, who do you want to thank out there? Thank of your folks or uh, any, just anywhere people can follow you? Thank all the people that are uh, my fans, everyone, just um, <laughs> all the people who helped me in this camp and just watch out for me. And one more thing. Uh, I heard that you were actually going to fight on an April card here in town. Do you know any specifics on that or is that yet um, to be it's not, I'm not too sure yet. It's just I think I'm going to defend the title here. And, again, this one's going to be a catchweight, so the title's not, a, yeah, not, a, yeah. not a for grabs, correct? No. Okay. All right. So February 18th. Hopefully, it's one one of the on the Tele Futura or yeah, Univision okay. or something. So check him out. He's gonna be the next top star here. He's our top prospect right now. So check him out, Fidel Maldonado Jr. Thanks for joining us, man. Thank you.